Hello, this is Carl from LunchboxSessions.com. In this video, we will look at how the electrical solenoids operate a basic spool type directional control valve, and we'll look at the mechanical override feature that lets you test for basic functioning of the valve. It is typical to find a coil of wire on each end of a three position directional control valve. The coil of wire together with the valve tube that contains an armature and a push pin make up what is known as a solenoid. Also observe that in the main valve body there is a spring on each end of the spool that helps return the spool to the center position when the valve is in neutral. The lines with the gauges labeled A and B are the work ports that typically connect to a hydraulic cylinder or motor. When we energize the solenoid coil on the left side of the valve, an electromagnetic field is created. The field pulls the armature in towards the center of the winding. The armature slides easily in a tube that is internally lubricated with hydraulic oil. The armature moves the push pin and ultimately the push pin moves the valve spool. And now we see flow from the pump being directed to work port B. Did you notice that as the valve spool moved to the right that the push pin and armature in solenoid B were moved to the right as well? Let's start all over again. Before energizing solenoid A, Observe that the left armature has been moved all the way left in the valve tube and a gap is present between the push pin on the left side of the spool. When we energize solenoid A, the armature and push pin get a running start against the spool as this gap is closed. When the valve is returned to neutral, Notice that the gap between the push pin and spool is now on the right hand side. Whichever side of the valve has the push pin gap has a slight force advantage when that solenoid is next energized. In order to help with troubleshooting and basic valve testing, many solenoid valves include a mechanical override. A mechanical override is simply a pin on the outside end of the valve tube in the center of the solenoid assembly that can be activated with a small screwdriver or hex key. Pushing on the mechanical override is a simple way to find out if the internal parts of the valve, namely the valve spool, is still free to move and operating normally. Make sure that when you push the mechanical override that no solenoid is still energized, especially the solenoid on the opposite side. As the mechanical override feature is more mechanically forceful than the electromagnetic forces of a solenoid, the armature in solenoid A is being pushed outward from the coil center position increasing the size of the magnetic field, which in turn increases the amount of current running through the coil. Holding the armature in that position for an extended period of time may cause the coil to overheat and open the winding. The internal coil wire is now broken. That's a few of the basic functions of solenoids on hydraulic directional valves. Thanks for watching. We have hundreds of interactive resources like this live schematic so you can try out your wild ideas without blowing anything up.